you don't hatch, you detonate into existence, a single insignificant spark in a shimmering cloud of life. You are Threadfin Shad, Dorosoma Petenens, and you are born one of a million identical siblings in the vast, empty expanse of the open lake. There is no nest to protect you, no father to guard you. There is no you. There is only us, a writhing, panicked ball of flesh, a living buffet waiting to be discovered. The first lesson of your existence is that the world is a minefield of mouths. A dark shape materializes from the gloom. It's a crappie, a slab-sided killer, and it plows through your school with its mouth agape. The school explodes in panic. You survive not by skill, not by speed, but by the simple, brutal calculus of being in the middle. The brother to your left vanishes. The sister to your right is gone. You are untouched, shielded by the bodies of your family. Your life is only preserved by the death of your neighbor. You survive your first few months, and your reward for not dying is to graduate into a larger, even more panicked school. Your life becomes a single, joyless, two-part rhythm, mindlessly filtering microscopic plankton from the water and fleeing in absolute terror. You are a nerve ending in a giant organism made of pure anxiety. From the depths, a green and white explosion erupts into the heart of your school, a largemouth bass, your school detonates into a firework of silver panic. You survive, but the hole he left in your wall of flesh is a chilling reminder of his power. At twilight, they appear, glowing, glassy eyes materializing from the gloom, the walleye pack. They do not attack with a single explosion. They stalk and herd you, phantoms of the abyss, picking off the stragglers with cold, predatory efficiency. You are cattle being driven to the slaughter. You have no victories. You have no territory. Your life is not a story of battles won, but a tally of successful escapes. You are the anonymous victim. You have survived the summer, a season of endless, violent ambushes. You are a veteran, a master of paranoia. You believe you have seen the worst this world has to offer. You are wrong. Winter arrives, the water chills, and the predators slow their assault. For a moment, there is an illusion of peace, but a new, more terrifying enemy descends. An arctic front pushes through, and the lake's surface temperature plummets. This is the fatal flaw of your species, the secret written in your DNA. You are a threadfin shad, a fish of warmer waters, and you are genetically incapable of surviving a sudden, severe drop in temperature. Your body simply cannot function when the water gets too cold. There is no chase. There is no battle. There is only the slow, creeping cold that seeps into your very being. You watch in horror as your school, the living shield that has protected you your entire life begins to fail. A brother to your left simply stops swimming, his silver body turning listlessly before sinking into the abyss. You survive through a miracle of genetics, a slightly higher tolerance for the cold than your peers, but you are now swimming through a graveyard of your own kind. The great shimmering ball of life that was your only defense is gone replaced by a sparse, terrified handful of survivors. But you have just learned that the most indifferent killer of all is the world itself. Spring arrives. Your school, once a mighty shield of thousands, is now just a sparse, nervous cluster. There is no longer a safe middle to hide in. You are exposed. It is in this state of vulnerability that the final predator arrives. It is a great, circular web that descends from the sky like the hand of a god, a cast net. There is no escape. The net closes, and you are hauled from the water into the blinding, suffocating world of air. You are thrown into a cramped plastic bucket with the last of your brothers. This is the ultimate indignity, but the true horror has yet to begin. A giant hand reaches in and grabs you. You feel a searing, piercing pain as a sharp steel hook is driven through the flesh of your back, just below your dorsal fin. You are still alive. You are still fighting. And then you are thrown through the air one last time. You hit the water, but you are not free. You are tethered a wounded, struggling beacon of distress. And here, in this final moment, comes the final, brutal truth. After a lifetime of desperately fleeing to avoid being eaten, your final purpose is to be the perfect, struggling attractant, a living, screaming invitation for the very same monsters you spent your entire existence running from. Your name was your destiny all along. Born anonymous, lived in panic, and died as a tool. A tragic circular journey for the unsung hero of the food chain. So what's a worse fate? A quick death in the jaws of a predator or a life of survival that ends with you becoming the lure? 
Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you felt a little bit of sympathy for the lake's ultimate victim, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and hit that hype button for the next video. And hey, if you really love what I'm creating and want to support the channel directly, consider buying me a coffee on Ko-Fi. The link is always in the description. Thanks for watching.